Okay, right, so, so as you're speaking, and he starts to move across, yeah? Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. So, uh, my name's Jason, your name? Morton. Nice to meet you, Michael. How long have you been coming down here for the Hyde Park, Rob? I've been coming up here for 15 years now, and um, I come up here, um, I wasn't preaching, I wasn't doing anything but drinking and just, um, I wasn't interested in anything, I was just um, in a, uh, a bit of a problem. A few Christians started to uh, speak to me up there. I used to give them some trouble, cry a lot, scream a lot. But after a bit of help, um, I went away and now I'm back here and I'm preaching about Jesus because, uh, because a lot of people, how they help me um, out of my problem. So would you say Jesus died for your sin and, and saved you? Yes, I believe Jesus died for my sin and saved me. <laughs> I believe that because he... Uh, I said a prayer of um, uh, prayer of when I was about 25. I said, if I got up heaven, I'm down here. Could you help me? And something come in and changed me then. I stopped drinking and I started acting in a different way. But the only trouble is, I was too worldly to hang on. Yeah. And I had a, a long, rough journey till the age of 45 when I went into, into um, um, uh, rehabilitation and drug centre and I collapsed. Okay, so, so what has Jesus done for you? Well, what Jesus has done for me is given me new life, new hope and forgiven me of all my past, present and future sins. I had to acknowledge my weakness and I had to acknowledge my sin and ask God to come in and change my life. But I had to give up to receive. It was hard, but it's worth it. I've been clean and sober now for um, uh, uh, 20 years and I've been married for 19 nearly. That is all because a Christian in a Sally Army hospital said I was very sick and he phoned up for a, a, a detox for me and a Church of England rehabilitation centre where I still worship in that same church. It's my family home, my Christian uh, rebirth if you like to say. I've been born again. Jesus washed me from the inside out and I was the person what I believe was that person in them caves. I was bound up. I didn't understand what it meant then, but what it meant, drink and drug had me round the throat, round the neck. I nearly died, but Jesus broke the chain of alcohol and all that worldly things that had me beaten, but I'm an overcomer today through Jesus. Amen. Power of the Holy Spirit, the washing in the blood. Mercy came when I cried out, and grace came beside, and they did a work what I don't really understand today. If I knew the mystery of God completely, it would be too much for me. But what I do know, if I keep on trusting in Jesus, all from finisher of my faith, things will go well. So young people, old people, whatever, when you look in the mirror, if you don't like or like how you feel, there's a, a Bible called the Word of God, and in there are the keys to your future. Amen. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that's just a wonderful testimony. So young people and those people who are out there, just thanks for the brother and thanks for for uh, watching today. So thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you.